Nice work, guys. That was a great win. Oh, I almost forgot. Tim and Alan, you'll be staying back to help me clean up. Stop whining, guys. It was packed tonight and the crowd was going crazy. Just give the janitors a bit of help, would you? Alright. So, the coach and I will talk it over and get back to you guys the next time we meet. The rest of you are free to go. What the heck is that, man? Is that a sock? Bro, that's disgusting. Throw it away. Hey, stop it. Don't do it. Just put it in the trash bag. If you throw it at me, Ellen, you're getting benched for the next game. Yep, that's what I thought. Hmm? What is it, Tim? You're right. It's that girl that always goes to our games. I wonder what she's doing staying back. What? Why me? You go talk to her. She just probably wants Kevin's autograph anyways. Ten bucks if I talk to her. Alright then. Get out your wallet. Um, hey, if you're looking for Kevin, here he left. He was kind of getting tired of giving out autographs. Oh, you're not here to see him? I'm sorry, I just assumed... You're one of his fangirls, you know? Him being a model as well as a basketball player kind of gives him a lot of attention. So why are you here exactly? You helping clean up? And that's a first. Never really heard of a fan staying back to clean up after a game. So are you that girl that always sits in the third row behind the basket? I knew it was you. You've been showing up to our games ever since our first one. Wearing our jerseys and screaming your head off every time we score. <laughs> no, um, I'm not laughing at you. It's, um, I think it's pretty cute that you like us so much. I'm pretty sure the whole team knows about you at this point. Quick question. Who was your favourite player? Me? Well, um... I'm flattered. Uh, didn't really expect anyone to have me as their favorite. Guess you didn't expect us to get this far, did you? Yeah, we were the underdogs in this tournament. Nobody really believed in us from the beginning. Yeah, we were really lucky to have made it this far. Maybe your cheers were what helped us so much. I'm not kidding, I genuinely believe that every time you started cheering, it gave the whole team a morale boost. Remember that time when we were down two points and Steph hit that half-court shot but with a second on the clock? Yeah, he said it was because of your cheering. Yeah, you can believe what you want, but I already told you, I'm not kidding. Our strategy against the 36ers? To be honest, I really don't know what we're going to do to stop Giannis. That guy's a giant that moves at the speed of light. So I really need to talk to the coach about that. You know a way to beat him? Alright, let's hear it. You know what? That actually might work. Wait, what do we do if he passes to Chris? Mm-hmm. Right. I see. You know, you have some pretty good basketball IQ. How did you find out about their weaknesses so quick? Really? You just watched a ton of games and picked up on their habits? I gotta say, that's some real talent. Tell you what, how about I get your number and see if we can go out sometime? I mean, just to discuss strategies, you know. <laughs> uh... Thanks, so I'll just call you next training session, alright? I'll introduce you to the team and to the coach.
Oh crap, we've been talking so long that they're already finished cleaning. Alright, I guess I'll see you later then. Hey dude, guess whose number I got? Yeah, it's right here. No, I'm not giving it to you. You can ask for it at our next session. Yep, our next training session. She's coming. Man, get your jaw off the floor and let's get out of here.